so here we got two eyes of the goat and these two eyes are of chicken and the smaller ones of the fish i don't know i don't know the name of the fish but exactly it's like uh, smaller eyes the eyes having different structures like the eyelids like crimal apparatus the eye orbit then the ocular muscles these are basically seven in number like four recti muscles superior inferior medial and lateral then the oblique muscles superior oblique inferior oblique then we got the eyeball all this structure is of fibrous coat and this fibrous coat we have two things sclera and the cornea the sclera is mainly the posterior fifth sixth part the front surface uh, this front surface is cornea it's around the anterior transparent one sixth part and the posterior fifth sixth part is the sclera all around the muscles and the eyeball having three structures basically fibrous coat then the vascular coat and the nervous coat after that thing after that thing we got the retina the aqueous humor vitreous humor and the nictitating membrane that is present in birds all the structure this is the subcutaneous fat around the eye now i'm going to cut this fat and tear this apart now i have cut it down all the muscles uh, basically there these are seven muscles four recti two oblique and one retractor muscle now the retractor muscle is arised from the orbit part when behind the optic nerve and retractor retractor muscles covers all the eye now if we take this eye in this position suppose this is the topmost part and this is the lower part the upper part having superior oblique muscle and the lower part having inferior oblique muscle and the superior oblique muscles covers the eyes and drives the eye to watch downside like this way and the inferior muscles that way upside and the four recti muscles uh, superior inferior medial and the lateral now this eye having the canthus and thin membrane now i am going to puncture this eye and loosen all the vitreous humor part this jelly like substance is vitreous humor this contents make the eye and this blackish substance all this content makes the eye this is the refracting media basically and keep the eye in the pressure and in shape see the blackish white part now i am going to cut this in the two halves the part here the bluish color this part is lucidium tapetum lucidium this makes the animal to have visibility in the night the outer part you are seeing here is the sclera and the behind that is all this blackish muscles these muscles are known as choroid and inside of the choroid the in the center part there yeah. is the lens and this the rays you are seeing here uh, visibility is very little low uh, these rays you are seeing here where i am pointing that is the ciliary process and near the ciliary process this white two black rows grayish rows these are the iris which contracts the eyes to make visibility then hmm if the color is high the white is what you are seeing here is the cornea in the pupil the cornea and the pupil iris then the ciliary process and in center there is the lens pose 
Here all the structure is the tapetum lucidium make the visibility in the night light for the animal birds and everyone except human beings human beings doesn't have tapetum lucidium that's why their eyes are not reflecting in the night and this layer around the eye is retina now I am trying to cut the retina by this BP blade and it's not cutting down near the lens you are seeing the suspensory ligaments around the lens the suspensory ligaments make the lens to extend up the capsule of the lens okay and maintain the position of the lens in the center and the involuntary ciliary muscles lies in the depth of the ciliary body and all this thing and the iris humerus behind the cornea everything the pupil then we come to the nervous cord the nervous cord this small papule type structure is the optic nerve this thing is that visible oh yes optic nerve now i am going to explain you little more things there is a serrated border near the ciliary body that is known as aura serrata and uh, at the center of the posterior pole of the eyeball the retina presents an oval structure that oval structure pointing right there is known as macula lutea and at the center of the macula lutea there is a point name as fovea maybe that whitish point if visible in the make zoom and depressed area name as fovea centralis in which the sense and the vision is most acute in the eye and at the point of retina is very thin due to the absence of some layer of the cells and I am pointing the macula lutea and that is optic nerve that's good for now now I am I am going to tell you the 10 listed names conventional layers of the retina first uh, there is like pigmented cell layer second layer of the road and cone cells the road cell and, and cone cells are responsible for the color of the eye and everything third external limiting membrane fourth external nuclear layer then external plexiform layer then internal nuclear layer seventh internal plexiform layer after that ganglionic cell layer and after that layer of the nerve fibers then in the end tenth part is internal limiting membrane now the pigmented cell layer is attached to choroid and the internal limiting membrane is in contact with the hyaloid membrane then these layers in the retina contain many chain of three microscopic neurons first is the roads and cones second is the bipolar cells and the third is the ganglionic cell the roads are three times more than the cones in the eye of the animal and these are more sensitive to light and the end organ the fluid there is vitreous humor jelly like part now aqueous humor <laughs> Now I am holding the eye of the chicken. The whitish layer here is the nictitating membrane which prevents the eye from the dust and everything. Now I am going to cut this puncture the aqueous humor, humorous part of the eye of the chicken and try to make clear out the fluid. Oh my god. the fluid the whitish jelly like is the vitreous fluid and this is the aqueous fluid this aqueous fluid consists of mainly three things glucose amino acid and the ascorbic acid but that fluid there vitreous is composed of water salts glycoprotein hyaluronates and the fibrils now the lens that is biconcave transparent disc enclosed in a capsule and refractory medium near the lens these are the yellowish part that is visible these are the suspensory ligament these are basically fibers just in front of the vitreous body and situated behind the pupil okay now at old age the lens become opaque and cataract occur and uh, if the intra 
ocular pressure of the eye increases that leads to the glaucoma these are the basic two diseases of the eye cataract and the glaucoma now nictitating membrane is visible to you i am trying to make another eye puncture this stop that whitish layer nictitating membrane it is t shaped cartilage and a fold of the conjunctiva i have cut it down and then the base of the eyelid remains surrounded by the glandular tissue this is called the hardener gland or the nictitating gland in birds it's thin semi transparent elastic and blah blah all the things now this piece here this one make focus yes this piece here in the center there is the pupil and the visual axis then the iris in the cornea and these round round suspensory ligaments of the eye this the brim all the ligaments and this there stop for one second please focus kariye focus the outside is the choroid then inside of that is the cornea then ciliary process the layers all the ciliary process see make that visible yes exit now that's all for the eye let's try to puncture the eye of the fish to make the lens visible <laughs> the fish i having yellowish fluid nothing else now i try to tear out the lens optic nerve suspensory muscles of the eye that blackish part there inside is the lens in every eye the lens is been ruptured by me this is the last piece of the eye in this you can see the shining inside that is the tapetum lucidum inside of the layer and this is a compact eye wall of chicken and here you see the lens in this intact eye lens and the iris centrally the pupil the choroid inside is the cornea uh, uh, this front layer is the cornea all this is sclera that is the optic nerve and these are the muscles this is a compact eye a very good presentation and i have cut it down in the nictitating membrane